Hi everyone, this is Ravi. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is our lesson 11 on Postman Beginners Tutorial Concepts. So in this lesson, I'm going to teach you a very important concept. How can we run any script or any test of the Postman in a command line? So basically how to run Postman scripts by using Windows command line. So this is very important concept for our upcoming session where I'm going to teach you how to integrate your Postman with a continuous integration tool like Jenkins. Okay, how can we run our tests from Jenkins? Okay, so this is a very important session. Once you understand this session, I mean these concepts, how can we run the Postman scripts from command line? So the same concept we are going to use for the integration of Jenkins with Postman. Please do subscribe to the channel, click on bell icon, you'll receive notifications whenever I publish more videos on Postman. Thank you. Okay. So, how can we run from command line? How can we run Postman from command line? So, the prerequisites are, first we need to install Node.js and then we also need to install Node Package Manager. Okay? And then we need to install Newman. What is this Newman? Newman is a command line collection runner for Postman. And then we need to export the collection and run from command line. Once you export the collection as a JSON file, so basically from Postman, you need to export the collection where you have all the scripts written, right? So you need to export that entire collection as a JSON file and then you need to go to the location of that particular JSON file and run the command in the command line. So this is the procedure that we are going to follow. So I'm going to teach you step by step, including how to install the Node.js and how can we install the NPM and how to install Newman, right? And then how can we run the scripts from command line? Okay, so let's jump onto the system and see how can we perform all these actions. This is my system. So first we need to install Node.js. So let me check if I have a Node.js in my system. For that, I'm opening my command line and let's see node-v. See, if the Node.js is installed, then you will you are going to get the version of the Node js here but what we are getting we are getting node is not recognized that means our node js is not installed or you can also use npm hyphen v which is node package manager so if you see npm is not recognized that means npm and node js are not installed in my system first let's let's install node js so download node.js and you need to go to node.js downloads okay yeah this one and I'm going to download the node.js if you see this is your long term uh, service related um, version and this is current feature okay so better it's recommended to install long term okay so let's install windows installer because I'm using windows machine okay As soon as you, so let me save this in downloads folder. Okay. So, and then see once this file is downloaded, open the path. I think it's still downloading. Let's wait for a minute. Okay, let's go to downloads. I think uh, it's still downloading. 
okay so node.js is installed right so now double click on this node.js and then click on next accept terms and license agreement next program files node.js all the files will be stored in there next and if you see here it is also installing your npm package manager right okay next and then next click on install so as soon as you complete installing node.js we also need to install our npm package correct so let's let install the node.js now so it will take a couple of seconds so you bear with me so installation is finished now let's clear this so let's execute node hyphen v it should recognize node hyphen v let's go back here if you see now i am getting the version of 16.17 right so that means i node.js is already installed and also let's see the npm version so i have a npm version of 8.15 okay so that means we completed installation of node and npm node packages uh, node package manager now we need to install newman so the command to install newman npm space install npm space install hyphen g newman okay so this is going to download and then install your newman by using npm package package manager okay so it will take a couple of seconds so it's installing okay so installation is finished so we have completed installation now we need to go to your postman and what collection do you want to execute so let's assume i want to execute a collection called collection 3 where we are sending a registration of the user this is one request and then this is our second request and then this is our third request basically getting users list and get single user right all these uh, request messages we already created so as part of my previous videos i have explained you about all these um, requests okay so you can refer my previous videos so now let's say i want to execute this collection entire collection from command line instead of postman okay for that you need to export this collection if you click on this more view more actions and export so export and it it is going to show you what version of the collection do you want to use okay so it's recommended is 2.1 so you know i'm going to select the same and then click on export and let me do one thing let me create a folder in desktop a new folder called postman runner okay postman runner and save that collection here okay uh, let me name this as youtube collection dot json okay save it 
so if you go to desktop right you have Oh, let me see postman runner. So where did I store that? Let me go here. So documents. So let me see where did I save that collection? Okay, let me also again do one thing. Let me export. I think somewhere I missed where did I okay postman runner oh it's in not let me do one thing let me store in my desktop let me create in my desktop okay okay it's already there postman runner desktop postman runner let's go to desktop postman runner okay this is where we store okay so for now now once you save your collection you need to run the collection so what is the command to run the collection so the command to run the collection is newman space run and your collection file name okay where do you need to execute this command you need to execute this command in the folder where you have saved your saved your collection so i'm initiating command line from this folder if you see if you directly enter cmd in your address bar it automatically initiates your command line in the same folder right correct so now here what command do you need to use newman run and what is the file name so this is my file name correct this is my file name so let's run enter so as soon as you enter, it's going to run all the scripts, whatever there. Okay. So if you see, if you see here, first post register user. If you see in the collection, my first test case is, I mean, first script is register user. And the second one is under get request, get users list, get users list, which is pass. And the next one is, this get single user which is pass the first one is fail because we found we got some error so and then if you scroll down it gives you all your iterations we executed only one iteration how many requests we sent we sent three requests and one is failed correct total test scripts run five what are the prescripts four asserts three so you get all the metrics, whatever you want uh, regarding your execution. Okay. So this is how you can execute your collection without using Postman. You need not to use the Postman in this case. You just need a command line to run your collection. That's it. So you didn't need, you don't need any Postman tool. Correct. I'm just running again and again. If you see, I'm running the same command. So you don't need any postman. You need not to open the postman. You just need to execute by using command line. So this is very important concept because in future, when I'm integrating postman with Jenkins, I'm going to use the same concept. Okay. So if you have any queries, please do send your queries in the comment box so that I can reply to your queries. Please do subscribe to the channel click on bell icon you'll receive notifications whenever i publish more videos and stay tuned for my next video to integrate the postman with jenkins thank you